Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. I want to share a quick little project with you on how you can package up gift cards using the Simon Says Stamp mini gift card envelopes. I've decorated this envelope with some heat embossing and also a few little embellishments and I think this is a really fun, quick and easy way to be able to package up gift cards to present to your loved ones in a very cute and adorable fashion. So I've got one of the mini gift card envelopes from Simon Says Stamp. This is the Schoolhouse Red color. This one's one of my favorites. I love the deep rich red color of this. I'm prepping it with a bit of EK Success powder to cut down on any static cling. And I'm going to stamp this little candy cane image from the Advent Holiday Icon stamp set, which was part of the Advent Plus release, which was just released this past week. I'm inking it up with some Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink because I'm going to do heat embossing. I'm using some white embossing powder from Ranger and I'm going to sprinkle this over top of the images. Now you'll notice I have some little flecks of embossing powder sticking to the paper. I'm just going to use a small brush to go ahead and flick those off. It's very simple to do and you won't even know that they were stuck onto the paper. I'll then go ahead and take my heat tool and heat set these until the powder has melted. Once I've heat embossed that set of images, I'm going to go ahead and continue stamping the rest of the images. The reason I stamped only part of the envelope the first time was because I needed, first of all, a place to be able to hold the envelope. Second, I wanted to be able to make sure that I got the embossing powder onto the wet ink and heat set before it had any chance to dry. And then third, I also wanted to be able to see where I was stamping and kind of get a feel for how this was working out. So there was multiple reasons why I went ahead and stamped only half of the envelope the first time. I'm going to go ahead and heat set this one as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the front of the envelope. The flap of the envelope, I want to have a little bit of a border of the candy canes coming around it. So I'm just going to take those images and stamp them in a line, adjusting the position here and there just to get a little bit of variation. But for the most part, they're going to create just a simple border along the edge of the envelope flap. I'll go ahead and take that same white embossing powder and again I'll take my brush and flick off any stray areas where there might be some embossing powder sticking to the envelope. After I've heat embossed all of my images, I'm taking some Festive Berries Distress Ink and an ink blending tool and I'm going to sponge on some ink along the edges of the paper. That's just going to darken up the edges of the paper a little bit and give this envelope a little bit more dimension. I'm only adding ink on along the edges. I'm not going into the center area because it's going to give the center a little bit more of a highlight. Plus, that's where I'm going to be ending up writing where it's going to be to and from. So I want to make sure I leave that area nice and clean. Once I've added the Distress Ink along the edges and onto the envelope flap, I'm also taking a Signal Broad white gel pen and I'm adding some dot details in between these candy canes. This is totally optional, but I think it really fills in the candy canes nicely and adds that fun, festive feel to this envelope. I also added it to the flap as well. For some final embellishing, I'm taking some ribbon here. This is a teal color. And I've tied it into a little bow and cut the ends into some V banner ends. I'm taking some PPA matte adhesive and I'm going to lay this down right onto the front of the envelope. This dresses up the envelope beautifully and adds that nice present-like feel to it. I'm going to take some clear blocks and lay those down over top just to make sure that the bow will adhere down onto the envelope nicely. I also added the words to and from onto the back side of the envelope just to go ahead and finish it off. But this was really simple and easy to create, but it is so adorable and I love how these gift card envelopes make it so easy to package up your gift cards really, really fun. You could stamp all sorts of different images on these envelopes and color them in. It'd be really, really cool to see all the different variations that you could do with these gift card envelopes. This is just one of a million different ideas. So I hope you'll head on over to the Simon Says Stamp blog to get more information not only on this gift card idea, but also on four other gift card ideas that I'm sharing today on the Simon Says Stamp blog. Please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can connect with us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as our blog. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.